Hello everyone, this is K. Madhuri from Chemical Engineering Department and this is Sri Vivya from Chemical Engineering Department. Today, we are here to present a small video about the applications of fluid mechanics. Now, let us know about the agitating vessel and kinds of impellers used in agitation. Agitation means the induced motion of a homogeneous material in a specified way. Generally, agitation is used for suspending solid particles, blending visible liquids, and for dispersing a liquid to form an emulsion or suspension, and for many more reasons. There are some devices which are used to produce agitation. They are called as impellers. Impellers are selected on the basis of viscosity of the fluid or substance to be agitated. Here we have some different types of impellers used in the agitators. Firstly, paddle agitators. This is one of the most primary types of agitators with blades that reach up to the tank walls. These are used where a uniform lamina flow of liquids is desired. Anchor agitators. The simple agitator consists of a shaft and an anchor type propeller and these are mainly used in reactors. Radial propeller agitators. These propellers consist of two to four plates that moves in a screw-like motion, propelling the material to be agitated parallel to the shaft. Spiral propellers. These are used to minimize centrifugal force and to produce maximum axial flow. Turbine agitators. It can create a turbulent moment of the fluids due to the combination of centrifugal and rotational motion. Helical agitators. These curves result in a vigorous motion of the fluids to be agitated and these are most useful for mixing viscous liquids. In our video, we are going to show agitation through this turbine kind of impeller. Here is a model of this turbine kind of impeller which we made. Uh, it actually consists of six blades and this is a model agitating vessel. And when we insert a disc turbine kind of model uh, turbine into the agitating vessel and start steering rapidly, the agitation starts. The agitating vessel in our experiment is actually an unbaffled one. There are also baffled kind of agitating vessels. While using an unbaffled agitating vessel, there is always a formation of vortex. To avoid the vortex formation, we should use a buffer container. This is a video showing agitation under baffled and unbaffled conditions. Under agitation without baffles, there is a formation of vertex around the impeller. To avoid this vertex formation, a baffle is placed alongside the walls of agitating vessel which breaks the vertex formation and enhances efficient agitation. The number of blades used in an impeller is directly proportional to the efficiency of agitation. But we should also make sure that the increase in the number of blades doesn't affect the design of the impeller and result in the expensive design of the impeller. Also, the angle between the blades affects the agitation. This is all a video and thanks for watching. Thank you.